So this is our eighth annual suicide prevention walk today. Um, this is my third time planning. Um, I'm very excited uh, for the day and the turnout. This means a lot to me. Um, it means a lot to the community for us to be able to come together and share in something so important and something so personal to so many of us. How do you get on living when you're too tired to keep breathing? January 22nd, 2019. I wrote this in my personal journal. How do we get on? What does getting on living look like to someone who has attempted but continues to still experience this hurt and pain? I'll tell you. It looks like finally telling someone I wasn't okay. It was having my hand held and my voice heard, allowing people to care for me, look out for me, and to help keep me alive. It was being in a space where people not only made me feel loved, but supported and most importantly, safe. We are a smaller area, but we are very affected by suicide and um, mental health struggles. So um, I, I think it's good each year to really reflect upon it and know what we can do to be more involved as well. We have a bunch of vendors, local organizations that are really in support of uh, suicide prevention. Um, they have different resources available to the local community. Communities can do so much to reduce the risk of suicide by coming out, by listening to people who are troubled, by uh, talking openly, and we can help each other. And that's one of the things that our group really promotes is community is helping each other. I'm Director of Training and Prevention Services at Copper Country Mental Health. We have our own building on Sharon Avenue and we focus on prevention and so suicide prevention is very important. Um, learning what you can do, how you can support people, um, if you're concerned for yourself or others, how you can, who to call, um, who to go for, for help. I'm also a mental health first aid trainer and so that is teaching people kind of like first aid, how to deal with people that might be having a mental health problem or crisis. Telling someone that I was contemplating suicide became less scary. No one told me it was just in my head. My head was finally above the water. I was finally treading instead of being under. We have signs available um, to draw whatever you want on um, that is in reference to suicide prevention, maybe someone that you're lost, that you're dedicating the day to. Since that question, the last six years haven't always been easy, but they've guided me to where I am today. Therapy played a very crucial part on this path. It was the key to recognizing I was struggling when my head felt like it was going under again. Therapy helped me to understand what it really meant to cope with that pain I felt. Today, we walk not just in memory of those we've lost, but in honor of those who are still struggling. So as we walk today, holding posters, walking side by side, let's carry this mission with us, not just today, but every day. Let's turn our compassion into action, our love into support, and our hope into a reality where every person knows they matter. We can create a community where we uplift those who are silent and stand strong against stigma. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for being a part of this important cause. Let's keep moving forward together and remember to listen.